Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Susie from Girl Gone Green, and today I'm gonna to be sharing all about my natural skincare routine. So I get questions all the time about how should I be using a product? When should I be using a product? What should I use when it comes to natural skincare products? So I'm gonna be breaking it down what I use, but also maybe things that you could start implementing in your skincare routine and why I use certain products when. So this is gonna be a juicy, meaty little video. So let's dive in. If you haven't started following me on Instagram, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Girl Gone Green. Also, if you haven't joined my Facebook group, Girl Gone Green Babes, make sure you hop on that. There's over 2000 of us in there talking all things natural. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe below, hit that red button, and then right next door, hit the note bell notification so you'll be notified first thing when I have a brand new video up. Okay, so let's dive into skincare routine. First off, can we talk about this lipstick? I'm loving it and I cannot not share it. So first of all, it's Cloven Hollow's Flaming Coral Lipstick and I'm here for it. I love it, it's so pretty and I feel like it would go with so many skin tones. I am on this red lipstick kick lately. I feel like I can't leave my house, so I'm gonna wear the red lipstick. I don't care if no one sees me. You guys are seeing me, right? Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna wear it, I'm gonna wear it proud. So if you guys are wondering or looking for a good lipstick that's bold, check this one out. I'll leave the deets below. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna share with you guys my whole skincare routine, what the, what the products are good for and why I use them when. Also, if you want to check out a really detailed blog post that I wrote all about how to create a natural skincare routine that you love, be sure to check it out below. I'll link it for you. I literally go through every single product um, and why you want to use it, what it does for your skin, and then like my AM and PM routine. So if you want to really deep dive even further into all this goodness, you can check that out. I'll leave a link. Okay, so the first product that I use is a cleanser. And I'm going to talk to you guys kind of, this is basically... A combination of like my AM routine, and PM routine. There's like a few different um, things that might change, but overall my routine kind of stays the same. So um, I'm just gonna do it all as one and then I'll kind of share if I change something up depending on the time of day. Okay, first thing I do is I cleanse my skin. I love, love Beauty, Count Beauty Counters Countertime um, Cleansing Oil. It is so good. It has plant-derived retinol in it, antioxidants, and it just does a wonderful job of cleansing my skin. One of the things I really love about a cleanser particularly is that I love that it would, it can remove all my makeup at once. I don't need to, you know, take an extra step and take a washcloth and remove it, but I can just rinse it with water and it comes off, um, especially in my life right now with a baby and two girls and just, you know, all the things. I want something a little bit simpler and easier. So I find like one less step is great for me. Uh, maybe you want to do like the double cleanse and get all into it. That is awesome. Do it. Um, but for me, I just really love this cleanser because it not only feels like an oil cleanser, so it feels really nourishing and hydrating, but it also removes all that makeup without having to get a washcloth out, out and like wipe it all off. So I just apply this to my skin when it's dry and then I rub it in all over and then what I'll do is I'll get a little water on it and it turns into this milky consistency that's so good. It emulsifies it a little bit. And then I'll just rinse off with water. All my eye makeup comes off, everything, just with water. It's amazing. And it still feels really nourished and hydrated when I'm done. So definitely check out this cleanser. I also have some of my other favorite cleansers on the blog. So I'm going to leave a link below for that post where you can check it out if you want to do like a balm cleanser or if you want just like a strict oil cleanser, what I'd recommend there are so many great cleansers out, but I find the ones that I gravitate to the most are usually less steps. Like all I have to do is apply it to my skin. It feels oily like an oil cleanser, but I don't have to actually get that washcloth off and like wipe my skin off, if that makes sense. So um, check this one out. It's really good. Um, I'll leave the link for my post where you can check out more. Also, if you don't wash your face at night, you're not giving your skin that time to really be able to um, repair itself effectively because you're going to still have dirt on your face and things are going to get in the way. You want to just set it up for all the good things that can happen at night when your skin really repairs itself, just like your body repairs itself, right? Okay, the next product that I will do, I don't do this every time, but it's exfoliation. So I will exfoliate usually two times a week, maybe three, depending on the season or how my skin feels. I don't recommend doing over that because you're gonna really irritate your skin and it can actually aggravate it. 
and cause it to be more sensitive. So really be mindful of how your skin's feeling. Um, I feel like a lot of people tend to over exfoliate now. Um, they've got their Clarisonic, plus they've got like their scrub and they're just going to town, which can actually really disrupt your acid mantle and cause a lot of problems. So I would say two times a week probably is great. Maybe three if you're using like an enzyme exfoliant instead of a mechanical exfoliant. So let me explain about exfoliants. There is mechanical, which is this exfoliant. It's Josh Rosewick Active Enzyme Exfoliant. I love it. It also has enzyme an enzyme exfoliant in it as well. But what gives it the mechanical exfoliant is there's crushed walnut shells. So you're able to really get in there and it feels gritty like an exfoliant probably would to most people like a traditional exfoliant. But it also does have enzymes that helps to really slough off those dead skin cells. This is one of my favorites, my go-to. I love it. It's so good. I also love um, the Glowing Honey Mask from Le Botanical. It does have, it is a mask, but it also is an exfoliant. It has um, just like really small, fine um, fruit enzymes that really help to soft off that dead skin. So this would be more of an enzyme mask that uses just like subtle acids, like fruit acids to really help um, eat away at that top layer of your skin and really reveal that brighter complexion. Then you also have chemical exfoliants, which are um, alpha hydroxy acids that are really going to um, remove that skin and really give you that overall brightness and, and all that. So um, if you do have oily or acne skin, I would recommend ex a chemical exfoliant just because it's going to be a little bit stronger and um, you can handle it. If you have really sensitive skin, I would just go to like an enzyme exfoliant. If you have like dry to combo, you can usually do um, just your normal mechanical exfoliant or enzyme. So kind of be mindful of what skin type you are and what might be good depending on um, how your skin reacts. But exfoliation is key. If you don't exfoliate your skin, think about it. You're going to have all those dead skins laying on, laying on top of your skin and your products aren't going to be able to seep in because there's just like the skin blocking it. So exfoliation is really key, but you don't want to over exfoliate. So two times a week is great. Um, maybe three, depending on what season it is. Okay, the next product that I will use is a mask. So I don't use a mask every single um, day either. I usually mask three times a week. I do that a little bit more than exfoliation. I love a good mask session. I think it's really crucial, especially if you want to optimize your skin and make it look radiant and the best it can look. Masks really help deliver nutrients just in a, a big dose. So if you think about Maybe when you drink a smoothie, you're getting a good amount of nutrients, but say when you drink a wheatgrass shot, you're getting even more, right? You're just getting like that really potent surge of nutrients. And that's similar to a mask. You're going to just really um, soak your skin and all that goodness, you know, for a while, like 15 minutes, usually maybe 20. Sometimes I leave mask on for even an hour. I'll just keep spritzing my face with my hydrosol and it really keeps like, activating that mask because you're re-moisturizing um, it. So... I love a good mask. One of my favorites is Mahalo's The Bean Antioxidant Mask. This really helps to um, fade hyperpigmentation, brighten spots, and just give you an all-around glow. I've literally seen sunspots fade with this mask. It's one of the best. I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's a rich brown. As you can tell, it's well-loved by me. It smells like vanilla. Um, I have so many mask favorites, and obviously there are mask for every kind of skin type and every kind of skin need. So maybe you want to brighten, there's brightening mask. Um, maybe you want to um, help with your acne. Maybe you want to hydrate your skin. Um, depending on what you want for your skin is kind of how you want to pick your mask, right? Um, and what season it's in. So I have different seasons where I might use more of a hydrating mask in the winter, you know, and in the summer I might be using something that, you know, kind of brightens my skin a little bit more. So it just depends on where I'm at. Sometimes there's a great mask too if you're just going on a date night and you just want it to kind of, you know, your skin to glow a little bit. There's like those three to five minute flash masks that really do that too. So um, I'll leave a link below for my full blog post on all my favorites when it comes to mask and clean beauty. Okay, the next product I absolutely love is a toner or hydrosol. So a true hydrosol has plant actives in it. So keep that in mind. A lot of people might think, what is the point of a hydrosol or toner? So much really, um, they really help prep your skin and keep them dewy and your pores open for all those serums and oils, which are what you want to seep into your skin, right? Those serums are super active. They usually are the most expensive product in your skincare routine because they contain the most active ingredients. So you want those to be able to really start seeping in your skin and working. 
And to do that and to prep your skin, a hydrosol or a toner is essential. So I love Beauty Counter's Mineral um, Boost Hydrating Essence. It's one of my favorites. It's kind of more of a spinoff on Asian skincare, so it's really milky consistency. You actually don't spray it, but you just um, pour it in your hand and press it into your skin. It feels so good. It smells amazing. It also has the plant-derived retinol in it, which is so good. Close. No, I'm recording. Close. No, close. Close the door. Close. Close. I'm laughing because my daughter just came in and she goes, can you please put my cape on? Another one that I love is Blue Alchemy's Toning Elixir. This has hyaluronic acid, which I'm a huge fan of. It draws moisture to your skin and it holds its weight a thousand times more than water. So it's really going to give you like that deep hydration and really just help your product sink in. So I've been feeling a little dehydrated recently. I feel like it's all the time we're spending indoors. Okay, now I add a serum to my skin. So now that my skin's been prepped with the toner, um, the serum is able to really seep in and do its work. As I mentioned, serums contain the most active ingredients in all your skincare products. So you really want to invest in quality serums. This is where you're really going to ex- probably spend the most money um, in your skincare routine, but that's where you want to, right? Because you're paying for those really active ingredients that are going to transform your skin. So a couple of them that I've been loving recently are Mukti's Hyaluronic Marine Serum. I got this in my Beauty Heroes box this month, and I can't put it down. It really delivers super hydration. It feels so good on the skin. I also love um, the box from Boxwalla. It's the Monastery Aloe. Um, Really hydrating as well. It feels so good, especially before my makeup, just to really plump up my skin. And then I also really love Blue Alchemy's Botanic Retinol. Um, This is like a cell renewal concentrate. I've been using that a lot too. Again, just so you guys know, my products change all the time as I'm trying new ones. There's so many great serums out there in clean beauty. Um, I have a whole list that I will leave again from my blog, but I want to kind of share what I'm using right now and loving. So um, you can actually get these two boxes right now for a steal of a deal, the Beauty Heroes and Boxwalla, just FYI. Um, But what I do is after I tone, my skin's a little damp still, I will apply a few pumps of my serum onto my skin, press it in, really let it soak in before I apply my next product, which is my oil. I wanted to mention with the serums too that, you know, it depends on what season you're in and what you really want is what kind of serum you want to get. So for example, if you're looking for hyperpigmentation to be faded or minimized, you really want to look into like, you know, making sure that it has maybe some sort of plant-derived retinol or antioxidants that are going to help fade those. Um, If you're looking for anti-aging, same thing, plant-derived retinol or antioxidants. Um, Vitamin C is a really good one. Um, Also, if you really just need hydration, hyaluronic acid is a great one. Um, As I mentioned, aloe. So think about what your skincare needs are, what you're really thinking you need for your skin, and then kind of look for a serum that's going to do that. Okay, the next product is an oil. So oils have really become all the rage within the last five to 10 years. Before that, people were really against oils thinking they caused acne and all of that, which there's so many comedogenic oils for sure, but there are so many great oils and they really actually hydrate your skin and do so much more than just, um, you know, sit on the top of your skin. They they do a ton. So a couple of my favorites right now are Voteri's Super Seed Oil. I got this in my box, Walla box. February and I can't stop using it. Um, it's so good, really hydrating. It's full of so many antioxidants um, and really nourishing seeds that are doing the work. Plus it's hydrating and it doesn't feel greasy on the skin. I also love Beauty's anti-inflammatory skincare oil. Um, really helps reduce redness. It seeps right in, it feels amazing on the skin. Um, another one that I've been testing out is Mahalo's um, Hawaiian Nights. It's their plant-derived retinol. It's so good. Smells amazing too. So again, these change all the time, but these are some of the favorites that I've been loving. And oils are really important too. You want to make sure you get an oil with essential fatty acids because our body doesn't produce those naturally. So you want to take them internally with like an omega supplement, or you want to make sure you're also applying them on the outside of your skin. So your skin's getting that too. So that way your skin is really nourished and really hydrated. So I'll apply a few pumps of this after my serum and I just really make sure I use circular motions, upward strokes, and just blend this in. It's like a little massage for your face too, if you think about it. Um, Just really make sure you're pressing that oil in and getting it in all those places. Um, And your skin's going to feel so hydrated. 
So the next product that I use is a skin cream. So I like applying a skin cream after my oil to help protect my skin. It's a little different than an oil. So a uh, cream has not only oil, but it also has water in it. It has a little more oil than water though. A lotion is going to have a little more water than oil. So that's why it's a little bit thinner in consistency. But I love applying these after my oil. So that way it really helps put up that skin barrier and protect my skin during the night, especially from dehydration. It really helps to kind of seal all those ingredients that I applied to my skin, like the serum and the oil. So right now I'm loving the Voteri Super Seed Nutrient Cream. I've talked about this before. Again, it came in the box Walla box February. So luxurious, so hydrating. Um, and it really has a ton of antioxidants in it as well. So it's like another, you know, power punch anti-aging cream for my skin. And then I've been loving the Alpen Beauty Wildcrafted Actives, their um, Plant Genius Melt Moisturizer. Feels so luxurious on the skin. I can't recommend this moisturizer enough. I've just been digging it so much. It seeps right in, but it really helps my skin feel so hydrated even the next morning when I wake up, which I love. Um, but it doesn't feel super heavy for a cream. It's a really good balance between being nourishing, but not, not overly. So I even use this in the morning before I apply my makeup and it feels so good on the skin. Now it's time for an eye cream. That's what I do next after I apply a face cream. So I don't love super, super creamy, creamy eye creams just because I tend to get milia underneath my eyes. And if you don't know what milia is, it's tiny, like white, hard almost looks like whiteheads, but they're just um, these hard, um, basically like little cyst things that happen when you have keratin buildup, which is basically just dead skin cells or extra product, extra sebum, whatever you want to call it. So I try to avoid that. And I just usually tend to use more of like a lightweight oil that seeps in, or I really like African Botanics Resurrection Eye Cream because it's not super heavy. It's really minimal. It's more of a light lotion. So I'll apply just like a pump of this and it does great. And I've had any issues with like getting more milia. So I highly recommend this too. If you're looking for a good eye cream, it's a little spendy, but my opinion, it's totally worth it because if you do suffer from milia, you don't want those. Um, another one that's great, but I don't use a ton is the counter time um, eye cream. I've seen amazing results from people who've used it. It has that plant derived retinol in it, antioxidants and peptides. But again, it is super creamy. If your under eye area is dry, I would totally recommend it. But if you um, do suffer from milia, I probably wouldn't just because it is pretty heavy. Um, I do like oils too, though. Blue Alchemy has a really nice eye roller um, as well as Maya Chia, the eye achiever. Um, I have, yeah, there's a lot of great ones out there, but I will say that um, this one has definitely won my heart a little bit. So I think eye area, putting some sort of eye product on is very important and you should really consider it because your eye area is one of the quickest um, areas to age. You can start seeing crow's feet and it gets sunken in, it loses its plumpness, um, just because the, th the skin there is really thin. So every night I just apply a little bit of product underneath there and I make sure I tap it with my ring finger because that has the least amount of muscles. So it's not pulling your skin anymore. It's not creating more wrinkles. Um, so you just wanna use like a tapping motion lightly on your under eye area to really help that product seep in. Okay, last but not least is for the lips. I know it might seem silly to apply something on the lips, but one, my lips get kind of dry at night, and two, it's really important to treat your lips because lips are one of the quickest um, areas on your skin to age besides the eyes, right? Um, it starts to shrivel, you get lines in your lips. So I really wanna make sure I always am like nourishing them, not only hydrating them, but feeding them those antioxidants too. And one of those products that I really like is Fit Glow Beauty's Night Lip Serum. So it just comes in like you would get one of their other serums that's colored, but it's just clear and it's full of so many nourishing antioxidants that are really gonna deliver serious nutri nutrients to your skin and help with those fine lines and keeping them plump. It smells really good, it's clear. Um, I'm addicted, it's so good. So I applied this on last to really kind of be like the last thing before I go to bed. Okay, there is my skincare routine from start to finish. Obviously, it might be more steps than you wanted. Remember, you're your own person. So if this seems like overwhelming to do this many steps, cut it down, um, do what works for you and do what, what you'll actually do, right? Um, get the products you actually use and not what you think you might use. So make sure you check out that blog post that I have on how to create a natural skincare routine where I deep dive into everything. 
um, so you can really help create yours. If you guys have questions, leave them below for me. Or if you're wondering, wondering about a certain product, I would love to help you out. Again, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe below, hit that red button, and then don't forget to hit the bell notification so you'll be the first to know when I have a new video up. And if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let me know what other videos you want to see more of. Okay, I'll see you next week.